Hello, dear students. This is Rajesh Dadich, your English mentor from Education, Shiv Jyoti Educational Group, Kota. Right? Today we are going to start your chapter number 8. It's revision and the chapter is present tense. Right? But before we proceed, first of all, we have got to know the meaning of the term the tenses. What the tenses are. This we have to learn first. Tenses. Tenses and time. They both are interrelated. Right? Tenses means the sum up of all the activities one performs throughout one's life from birth till death. What are the activities are performed? The sum up of those activities is known as the tenses, right? So basically we can say we can divide the topic the tenses into three parts or in other words we can say the whole human life can be divided into three parts and these three parts are known as three phases of tenses, right? Present tense, past tense, and future tense, right? So the first one is the present tense. This is the most important tense in one's life because this is the one and only time one has got. We have got all past, we can do everything in this tense only. And this is past tense, means when, the, when this present time is elapsed, this is changed into past tense, right? And when we are talking about the time yet to come, means we are talking about the moments yet to come. We are eagerly waiting for the moments, we have planned something to do. And in that coming time, we want to do something. So that time is known as future tense right that we will discuss all these three tenses one by one but right now let's begin with present tense so dear students let's begin with present tense what is present right the current time the current scenario that we have got some power in is known as present tense let's divide this tense into four parts and they are known as indefinite tense number two so we may call present indefinite tense we may call present continuous tense but it has got one more word and that is simple we can write it simple present tense also and we can write it as present progressive tense also one by one we learn them right next perfect tense means present perfect tense and fourth one is perfect continuous tense. So, let us begin them one by one. First of all, we are going to discuss the indefinite tense or you may call it simple present tense. The name itself suggests simple present indefinite tenses means in this tense we are talking about the activities, we are talking about the activities that are performed throughout one's life as a part of one's routine life. Right? What are the activities we perform daily as the part of our daily life, routine life that is known as present indefinite tense or simple present tense you may call it. Got it? So look present indefinite tense. What are the salient features of present indefinite tense? Introduction I have already given. Right? So let us have a closer look at the helping verbs or main verbs in this tense being used in this tense right so we use first form of the verb and sometimes first form of the verb with s or es right 
object and you know all sentences begin with subject so we can say in affirmative sentences very simple sentences we use first form of the verb and sometimes we add sos to the first form of the verb and followed by object object means the whole remaining part of the sentence after the main verb got it after the main verb what are the remaining part is there that is known as object got it so next one is if we have to convert this present indefinite affirmative sentence into its negative form we use do or does plus not we have to add this not right and if we are using this negative adverbial not this is necessary for us to use the helping verb means this word cannot be used without any helping verb so it becomes mandatory for us to use do or does so this is negative got it this is negative sentence and next is these helping verbs if we use them in the beginning do does plus subject plus v1 and then object what does it look like it looks like an interrogative sentence yes the very first kind of interrogative sentence we are talking about yes we are talking about an interrogative sentence first kind of interrogative sentence that begins with helping verb and whenever we find this kind of interrogative sentences mind it these questions always demand their answers in yes or no yes or no only right but this is first kind of interrogative and the second kind of interrogative sentence means we have to begin with question word we have to begin with question word certain question words are there and thereafter we the same this structure we have to use do does subject for from the verb and once again let me tell you first kind of interrogative sentences demand the answers in yes or no for example if i say do you like coffee do you like tea do you like apples the answer will be in yes or no only yes i do no no i don't does he go to school regularly yes he goes yes he does or no he doesn't no he does not go so in this way but if you ask the question beginning with question words definitely these questions demand their answers in detail for example what is your name what do you want what do you like right when do you wake up in the morning so we can never answer we can never begin answer with yes or no for such kind of questions right now let me give examples of these tenses so dear students let's switch to continuous tense what is continuous tense means we are talking about an activity we are talking about an action that is going on at the time when we are speaking means at present something is going on right hey what are you doing it means i am asking someone what he is doing right i am sitting i am standing i am teaching you you are learning so all these sentences are the examples of continuous tenses or we may say present continuous present plus continuous means present what is going on at present whatever the activity is going on that reflects present continuous tense what do you, what do we use as salient features when it comes to helping verbs we know is r m these three helping verbs are used right along with v1 ing means first form of the verb in ing form we have to use is r m how to use he she it he is she is it is but r he is she is but they are plural they they are we are you are and only one subject is there one pronoun is there when we can use m and that is 
I, I, I am teaching you. He is going. It is raining. She is learning English. They are playing cricket. Boys are running. They are coming. They are going. So in this way, we use present continuous tense, right? Next is perfect tense. What is perfect tense? Yes, yeah, perfect. Perfect means complete. Here, present, in present indefinite tense, what we learned, we were talking about the activities, the part of our routine life, daily life, or we were talking about some universal truths, some factual truths we, we were talking about. That was the part, that was the integral part of our life. I go to school, I do not go to school. He goes to school, he doesn't go to school, he does not go to school. They are going to school, it becomes present continuous tense and their negative form, they are not going to school, are they going to school? In this way, we can make their negative or interrogative sentence. What are you learning? This is interrogative sentence of present continuous tense. And I am learning English. This is affirmative or present continuous tense. But now we are talking about perfect tense. What is perfect tense? Complete means we are talking about something which is complete now. Earlier we can say it was going on but now it is complete. Right? The work is done but we still feel the effect, the impact of its completion on our mind or the circumstances around us. Right? How to say? What are the salient features of this tense? has or have right in present indefinite tense we use do or does as helping verbs in present continuous tense we use is or am as helping verbs but in present perfect tense we use has or have as helping verb but in all three perfect tenses means present perfect past perfect future perfect we always use third form of the verb in all three continuous tenses means present continuous past continuous and future continuous we use v1 ing along with different different helping verbs right but that is for sure v1 ing will be used okay but when it comes to present perfect past perfect or future perfect common form of the verb is third form of the verb only this makes difference for example let me explain through one of the examples have you done your work yes sir I have done my work. No, no, no. I have not done my work. I have to complete my work. Means my work is not complete. Right? So, he has not come yet. He has not come yet. Means we are waiting for someone and he has not come yet. So, we can say we are talking about present perfect tense. Yes, we are talking about an activity which is complete or which is not complete. Right? So, we can say present perfect tense. He has not yet completed his work. He has not done his work yet. In this way, present perfect tense. Next is perfect perfect continuous tense. What perfect continuous tense means? This tense is the combination of two tenses. Right? This tense is the combination of two tenses. You can see the name perfect and continuous. So, we can say this is continuous, this is perfect. If we mix them together, if we club them together, what becomes perfect continuous? Right? So, what are the identification? What is perfect continuous tense? Means we are talking about an activity that is currently going on. But the same identification is there, the same feature is there in present continuous tense, then what makes them different? Right? What makes them different? And that is, in this tense, time is also given. I mean to say, the time of commencement of any work. But no kind of time is given in this tense. That can suggest that, that the work started at that time. But in this tense, we know perfectly that a particular work started at that time and since then it has been going on. Right? So, two features are there. One is continuity and second is 
time that can suggest us that the completion of the work started means the work started at that and that time and since then it has been going on so this is perfect continuous tense okay so what are the identification what are the salient features of this tense is very simple what i told you this is the combination of two tenses this tense and this tense means some features we are taken out from present continuous tense and some features we are taken out from the present perfect tense and we have made them together along with some different identifications some different features that becomes present perfect continuous tense so what we have taken out has or have you can see has or have we are taken out from perfect tense present perfect you can see here has or have since time is given we will add one more word and that is been so it becomes has been have been got it and one more thing we are taken out and that is continuous tense continuous tense means v1 ing so it becomes has been v1 ing have been v1 ing right but what i told you time is also given so to reflect that time to express the time we need certain prepositions and these are two prepositions and they are since and for to connect time right since or for got it as preposition for example we can say he is sleeping and if he is sleeping and if i ask you when he went to bed since when no we do not know the time when he slept so we can say this is only continuous tense but if we know the time that uh, he went to bed at 2 o'clock and since then he has been sleeping so the sentence becomes he has been sleeping since 2 o'clock so this is present perfect continuous and overall these are present tense present indefinite present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous let's have a look at some examples right so students let's have a look at some of the sentences from some of your exercises so first of all you have to open your book at page 40 and 41 right exercise a some sentences have been given so look at the sentence she she blank space buy oranges from the market she blank buy oranges from the market right so what do you think if this is now but suppose i do not use the word now means i do not use the adverbial now it becomes present indefinite tense but right now now has been given now adverbial reflects the sentence being in continuity right so it reflects present continuous tense in present continuous tense what to use is rm and v1 ing so what to write she are no she am no only one is there and that is she is buying oranges means we are reflecting the present activity means the activity which is going on in present right there so mind it the platinum rule of english grammar is whenever we begin any sentence with here or there always if they are followed by a blank space always indefinite tense is used so since there is there and blank space is also there so we can use present indefinite tense so we'll use present indefinite tense in affirmative you know i told you either first form of the verb or sometimes s or es are added to the first form of the verb in affirmative sentences means i go we go you go they go but he does not go she does not go it does not rain so here there is there so we'll treat it as singular so there goes the girl right because the girl we are talking about the girl her activity is there that's why we can say there goes the girl who won the spelling contest got it next please open page 43 open your book at page 43 exercise c right so one of the sentences is the detective blank space solve the case to the satisfaction of his clients means we are very happy that the detective has been successful in solving 
his cases for the clients right so here we can say that it belongs to present perfect because successfully the detective has solved the cases of his client so we can say as usual i told you present perfect means has or have along with third form of the verb we can say solved the detective has solved the case to the satisfaction of his clients right next is mother mother blank space read the newspaper for the past half hour what i told you whenever since of for preposition have been given to you along with time of commencement of any activity we are talking about right so we think that present perfect continuous tense will be there so here present perfect continuous tense what i told you is the combination of two tenses means some features are from present continuous some features are from present perfect tense and they become another tense and that is present perfect continuous tense so we'll use according to the subject mother is singular subject so we'll use has and since time is also there you can say past half hour means 30 minutes time has been given means the work has been going on for past 30 minutes so we can call it half hour so mother has been and v1 ing is there so we can say reading is there so the whole sentence is mother has been reading the newspaper for the past half hour oh i found i found it's raining outside i asked somebody when it started raining because at the time i was sleeping and as soon as i woke up i found it raining outside i had a look outside through the window and i asked someone when it started then i was told it has been raining since morning it has been raining last evening last night for past 1 hour for past 2 hours like this so all these sentences are related to perfect continuous present perfect continuous so with this my dear students your present tense is complete so i hope you have got it and better you can practice because practice makes a man perfect the more you are practicing the more you will be gaining with this have a nice time thank you